All right, guys, so here we go. Drum row, drum row. I'm a little nervous, I'm a little nervous. First physique check. All those cookies are about to. Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Keto Cut. So this is the episode that everyone's been waiting for. Everyone wants to know, how does my physique look? How much cookies did I really eat over this holiday break? And uh, I'm gonna go and warn you, it was a lot. It was a lot. But before we jump into that, guys, I have to remind you, if you're watching this right now, you know what that means. That means that you woke up smart, that means that you are winning. So are you stressed? Are you problems? Can it phase you? Can it phase me? Because you and I are already winning, fam. So, we're here at the gym right now. We're about to go upstairs. They got a bunch of mirrors and stuff. And that's kind of like where I typically do my keto cut physique check. And we have a DEXA scan planned for later on today. So, I'm really excited about that. So, not only are we going to see how I look, how much fat am I holding, how's my physique look, but we're also going to get accurate number about where my body fat's at. So, I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of nervous. Before we get to the DEXA scan, let's do a little contest, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think my body fat percentage is gonna be. Anybody who guesses it right, I will send you a keto coach, a blood keto meter on me. So put your comments right now. When the video goes live, I'm gonna check to see who had the most accurate number because I know a lot of you like to cheat. A lot of you like to watch the video, then put the number in thinking you're slick. Okay, you're not slick. So let me know what do you think my body fat percentage will be before we do the deck scan. Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so let's go upstairs and look at this uh, this chunky, chunky beats. All right guys, so here we go. Drum row, drum row. I'm a little nervous, I'm a little nervous. Also guys, I'm not making excuses, but I did drink a lot of water and I did have breakfast already. So um, this is not fasted. So here we go, here we go. 2020 keto cut, first physique check. All those cookies are about to, about to be seen. So here we go. This is a, uh, this is the starting point guys right here. Uh, I will say this from last year, uh, we are, I feel that we're a lot heavier, as you can see, the body fat that I'm holding. And, and you know, like I take a lot of pictures on Instagram, you know, with my biceps, boom, and a lot of you are like, oh man, Logan, you're super shredded. Like, man, you look great. How much do you have to cut? But I tell you guys, I hold all my weight all right here. You know, when I was very, very overweight, you know, I had man boobs, I had a big gut, and a lot of my weight is all in the midsection. That's where I hold it all. So as you can see, look at that. Look at that right there. Look how much I can grab. So obviously when the keto cut starts, this is gonna be the main section. I mean, my legs don't really hold that much, as you can see. Uh, calves are always super lean. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, biceps, shoulders always look pretty much decent. Uh, back, boom. And it's always been like that from the very beginning. When I was overweight, this is where it all was. So, this is where we're at, guys. Um, we're gonna do a DEXA scan later on today so we'll know exactly how much I weigh and my body fat percentage, but this is the starting point. I pretty much, uh, I let myself go just a little bit on the highs, but I had fun, it, it, was, it was fun, you know, like I said, uh, we ate a lot of tamales, we ate a lot of cookies, I drank a lot of beer, I even went to the movies, had like an in, uh, 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 endless pot of popcorn, and it was great, but now it's time to get back on track, now it's time to stay committed, get focused, and take this physique, boom, ah, to the next level. Ah. A few moments later, Okay guys, so about three hours later and we are here at the DEXA scan. So a lot of people think that DEXA scans are actually expensive and they're really not. They're actually really affordable nowadays. So the one that I go to is a mobile um, a mobile DEX scan. So it obviously moves and I'll show you how the truck looks. It's only $45. So $45 to get a very accurate body scan of body fat, body muscle, and how it all breaks down the body, I say is a pretty good price. Considering like most gyms have that in-body machine, which I think is completely crap. The readings are all over the place, which is why I don't even use them. I pretty much only use them uh, for body weight and that's about it. Now, your next option is a bod pod. Now, a bod pod, they're definitely hard to find. There is one at my college in my hometown, but it's a pain in the butt to find parking at a college when you're not a college student so I don't even bother so the best option for me is a DEXA scan so I'm gonna show you how it looks so let's go inside
Okay guys, so we just got done doing the DEXA scan. Here are the numbers, drum row, Brrr, let's go. Okay. What, what do you want to focus on? Because you uh, kind of know how it works. Uh, yeah, I just really want to look at uh, body fat. Okay. Body fat total. So that's my main goal, because I want to drop body fat for this cut. Yep. And so that's all I really care about. Uh, so we're at 17.1 for body fat. Okay, so that's interesting. That, that's really all I, that really matters to me. Uh, total mass, 199, so that's how much I weigh. Uh, fat tissue, 34. Lean tissue, 157. And bone marrow, okay. And we can put you here in this 30 to 39 male category, and you're just, you know, you're already in an elite range here. You're under 18%, so you're in the zero to 20th percentile. Okay, okay, so sweet. All right. And if you're interested in health metrics for the new year, the things that we focus on are this waist to hip ratio. And so this is an equation here. And so it's ideal to be less than one. You're a little bit over one. That can be too because you are just have actual abs. Yeah. <laughs> Obliques. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm, actually... I'm a little heavier in my midsection. That's kind of where I hold all my weight. So That's your man. And so. I was over. Yeah. And when I was overweight, I was 225 pounds. Um, that's where it all yeah, was. But we can put it in context with this visceral adipose tissue number. So this is that subcutaneous stuff, the stuff you can pinch and pull. Mm -hmm. That's the stuff, this number one red stuff, is the stuff that's in your abdominal cavity that's up around your organs. And so this is the stuff that poses health risk. Um, so right now you're about one pound. That's about the average for males, the low average. So you're, you're there, you're, you're well out of a, a risk range. Um, Risk range for males doesn't start till 2.7 pounds. Okay, so not till 2.7, so it's, I'm at a one. So that's not bad. You're at average. Average, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what, that was what we see average for men. Um, when you start counting your macros, here's your estimated RMR. And as you know, that's your the calories that you need at complete rest for a 24 hour period. Okay. To that, you'll add your daily activity and your exercise, and then you'll get a much larger number. Okay. So yeah, I'm I'm obviously eating a lot more calories than this guy's, but like she just said, um, this is as if I didn't do anything. If my body just rested, sat on the couch all day, that's what how much I would need didn't to even survive. Get up. To survive. Exactly. Uh, but that's not including my walking, my my cardio my training session and everything else I do yeah. throughout the day. So obviously that's gonna go up. So I don't wanna freak everybody out saying, oh my God, that's low calories. It, it is, if I just sat on the couch, it did nothing. So guys, remember what I said, body spec, make sure you go check them out. It's only a $45 scan for, for a DEXA scan. It's the number one way to test for body fat. Uh, body scan, they're around Central Texas, so make sure you look them up and set your appointment. All right, guys, so there you go. Whoever guessed 17.1 for my body fat, you are the winner. Obviously, I'm gonna go through the comments and go to the first ones first and just go for the bottom and whoever guessed it right, you are the winner and you're gonna get a free Keto Coach meter. Let, let me just kind of discuss what the number. So 17.1 body fat, I guess, you know what? I'm actually surprised. I'm actually surprised that it's at that number because I really thought it was gonna be more. I was really thinking, I'm not gonna lie guys, I was thinking I was gonna be around 20 or 19 and I wouldn't be surprised if I was over 20. I just felt like I really let myself go over these last holiday uh, months. You know, just eating crap, eating junk and justifying it, saying like, hey, well, you know, it's the holidays, hey, it's a family get together, hey, it's this, hey, it's that, hey, I'm bulking. You know, just justifying all these really bad foods and I was creating a really bad habit for myself. and. So I was kind of getting worried. I was like, man, I'm about to go into this keto cut like the biggest I've ever been. Like this is gonna be tough. But 17.1, that's actually really not that bad. And my body mass was 199. Obviously I've come down a little bit. You know, cleaning my cleaning my eating for the past three days has dropped a little bit because last time I weighed myself, which was before New Year's Eve, um, I was 206. And again, yeah, so obviously holding a lot more water. But fat tissue, uh, 34 lean uh, lean tissue 157 and bone marrow 7.4 and like she discussed um, you know I had that that kind of BAT that visceral adipose tissue hopefully I'm saying it correctly I'm at a 1.1.01 1. 1. which is average so um, I'm, I'm actually I'm pretty I'm pretty happy guys I'm pretty happy with the results I think this is a great starting point for the keto cut I think we can absolutely do it you know I'm 199 I don't know where I'm gonna be at the end of my cut you know I have to talk to Ross about that um, 
If I had to guess, I'm thinking 175 is what I'm thinking. I don't know if that's too much or too less, um, but 175, and that's about 25 pounds. That, that's quite a bit, and who knows? Maybe he's gonna say he wants me at 170, and that's gonna be 30 pounds. That's pretty crazy. Uh, but we can do it, and we're gonna do it because I believe in myself, and you guys are gonna hold me accountable, and we're all gonna do this together. So, that being said, guys, there you go. You saw my physique check. You saw my body fat. This is the starting point right here. I definitely let myself go during the holidays, but it's all good because it's time to get back on track. We're all gonna do this together. Make sure, guys, if you haven't signed up for my Keto Cut Bootcamp, it starts January 10th. You still have time to sign up. January 10th, my Keto Cut Bootcamp, you're gonna have access to a private Facebook group. We're gonna do weekly Q and A's together so I can answer all your questions. We can go through this together. You're gonna to have access to a meal plan, workout plans, my keto secret hack books with over 100 plus secrets and hacks that I learned over the years that I wish I would have known from the very beginning. Also, we'll be having a contest as well. Winners are gonna get a $100 uh, Amazon gift card, Keto Coach Meter, American Metabolics, Mammoth Fuel Bars, so it's gonna be super dope. I hope you join because we're in this together. 17.1 baby we got 17.1 body fat let's drop that down to below 10 can we do it i don't know it's gonna be a long road but we can do this together so anyways guys we'll see you on the next episode peace